Quick note before this video starts, this video cannot be striked at all as all the information that has been obtained here has been obtained from public sources that the creator himself posted. I do not condone any harassment towards him at all because he clearly is not all right in the head and that's coming from me. Seriously though, don't be a jerk to him and in fact don't even interact with him or his channels at all. I mean it. How's it going guys, Cracked Rack here, and consider what I'm about to present to you today as my Thanksgiving special. Even though we're still about two weeks away from Thanksgiving, by the time this video picks up traction, it will be about Thanksgiving. Plus, this video is really a one-of-a-kind piece of art, because the subject of it is a very promising young man. A young man who goes by the name of Timbox, known in real life as Timothy McKenzie. Now, some of the stuff in this video I'm gonna show you is super upsetting, as well as super hilarious. Though mostly upsetting, and you may have angry feelings towards Tim near the end of this video, because his Fetishes do unfortunately involve children, though animated children. But I want you to please refrain from stalking his social medias or interacting with him or being negative towards him, it's really unnecessary. We're just here to have a hoot and a holler. Also, I realize it's probably unethical for me to make this episode on someone who clearly isn't all there. <laughs> But it's better you hear this from me than from his Encyclopedia Dramatica page, which is extremely brutal and rapidly picking up steam and viewage. Lastly, before we get into this, Tim, you need to know that I don't hate you, and I don't condone people calling you slurs, and I don't wish you any ill will. I'm just gonna make fun of you like I do everybody, and you being autistic doesn't change anything. I'm mildly autistic myself, and being autistic is not an excuse for anything. Anyway, let me describe in detail who this man is before we get into the funner stuff. Timothy McKenzie is a 30-year-old man who was born in Baltimore. From a young age, Timothy struggled with school, opting for special education classes as a result of his severe Asperger's that left him non-verbal until he was 7. This struggle with school would last until he was 21, the age he finally graduated high school. During his time in high school, Tim's eccentric nature shined. He was notably very creepy towards the female students, particularly those of Asian descent, as he had a noted fetish for Asian people, something that continues ferociously today, though Tim will deny it with the power of a million sons. This creepy behavior completely isolated him from the rest of the school, and his uncooperative behavior with teachers had unfortunately made him a complete outcast. Tim also had a massive interest in dinosaurs, and was noted to always carry around a bunch of books relating to dinosaurs with him everywhere he went. Now as Tim got older, he started using the internet a lot more, while also creating concepts and drawings for these weird films he wanted to produce. And I don't mean he wanted to produce them as in he's just having fun, I mean he genuinely wants and expects to make these concepts into full-length feature films that return large at the box office. Now the thing about these films is that they aren't original at all. He will just take copyrighted characters and mix them together and call it his own work. But he takes this to an extreme level and spends a shit ton of time coming up with fucking awful show concepts that will never get made that he thinks will. For example, here's the poster of one of his most notorious projects, Dexter's Odyssey. I like to call this the rival to Sonichu. As you can see by the heading at the top, this is the ultimate entertainment experience of a lifetime. We have the Powerpuff Girls shooting out of the Dexter's Lab Girls on a PNG of a real life mountain. This is just the epitome of art. I mean, I, art was pretty much invented to allow for the expression of beauty this great. Now to give some info about this film, the runtime, according to Timbox, is a very reasonable eight hours long. The plot is pretty much that these copyrighted characters go on a quest that is literally completely ripped off from Lord of the Rings. You may think that this is just some kind of funny joke, but no, this is legitimately something he's proud of. In fact, so proud he often brags about it online and claims it's going to be the best movie of all time. Now, what would the budget of this film be if Tim could get this movie in front of an investor? 
Did you guess $100 billion? Because that's the answer. A large chunk of this money, according to Tim, would go towards replicating the old school animation styles of these cartoon network shows from 20 years ago. Tim's notoriety and the reason I even know of him are due to his online antics. See, Tim really likes to go on image boards and forums and start shit. He also likes to post threads about how much he absolutely loves animated children, but we'll get into that a bit later. Normally, he'll threaten people, swear every two seconds, and type in all caps in response to the smallest amount of criticism. Here's an example of a post he made on 4chan. <clears throat> I'm fucking tired and sick of the way you idiots observe me or my family. I am not crazy. I am not even that sad, either. I do not even have yellow fever in real life. And so I ask you all kindly, can you please stop making fun of me or my family ever? So at first, this did elicit some sympathy from me. But when the user below tries to reason with him, he responds with, I will fucking kill you in real life. I'm gonna kill you! Look, Tim, if you want people to respect you and not make fun of you, you can't scream at them that you'll fucking kill them if they don't do what you say. Now, we need to get to the worst part of this man, his interest in children. Now, he hasn't ever done anything to a child, luckily, and his interest is purely in animated children, but it's still extremely weird nonetheless. Tim is notorious for signing up for forums like the Newgrounds forums and ranting for pages and pages about how much he loves animated children. And he even goes as far as to rank his favorite animated children. He's even made blog posts naming 10 different animated children he'd love to quote-unquote cuddle. He's particularly in love with this small Asian child from a children's cartoon. He makes videos about her all the time. Hi there, Lily, my love. Hi, Lily. What you doing? I love you, Lily. Another funny thing that Tim likes to do is rant his ass off on Twitter. He has a Twitter account with only 70 followers that has over 5,000 tweets on it. On his Twitter, he literally just freaks the fuck out at anyone who even mildly criticizes him. Unfortunately, after Tim learned that I was making this video on him, he actually deleted his Twitter immediately, so there's really nothing I can show you because I didn't screen cap it in time because I did not fucking think he was going to do that. Probably because this is the first bout of genuine online attention I think he's gotten. I don't think he's ever had a video made on him before. This might be the first, so I could get why he'd be freaked out. But honestly, deleting your Twitter just makes you look way, way worse. You really didn't have to do that. So, uh, yeah. This is the gentleman known as Timbox. He's definitely an intense character that I think does definitely rival that of Chris Chan. Though if I'm being honest, I'm pretty worried about this guy. I'm worried he's going to do something crazy to himself or other people. The way he talks to other people really just showcases to me that he's extremely mentally unstable and could do something nuts at any time. Anyway, Tim, if you're watching this, I wish you the best. I hope your uh, projects turn out good. I think you're going to be extremely famous, perhaps even infamous in the next five years, but it's probably not going to be for the reasons you were hoping. Anyway, that's all for today. See ya.